Today, we're going to talk about how to scale your business up, make more money, and truly no scam, no fake, no bullshit, actually work less. You got your business up and running, you're working 70 to 100 hours a week, but you're not making any more money. In some cases, you're not making any money. In the worst case scenario, you're losing money. If any of the above sound like you, continue to watch this video because I have the solution to your problems. But let's talk about your business. Let's talk about you're working, you're struggling, but for some reason you just can't make any more money. You're putting in more hours, you're trying to do this, you're advertising more, but for some reason you're stuck. I'm gonna give you the exact reason why you're stuck. You're running your business like it's a hustle. Now, I know you should hustle to get your business up and running, but the same energy that it takes to start a business is radically different energy than it takes to maintain, manage, and grow a business. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. Part of the problem is that many successful, if you start a business and it's making enough money to support you, you are successful. Many successful business owners don't know how to scale their business. Let's talk about the power of a referral. There are many people who talk about word of mouth. All word of mouth is, is a referral. And referrals are extremely powerful. Now, I said I started this about 90 days ago, maybe 100 days ago. Now, I looked into my dash, because every morning I wake up and I check my numbers, and I saw something beautiful that a lot of the referrals were coming in, that a lot of the copy and a lot of the systems and the funnel that I had created now is days ago is starting to work. Now, let me say that again. I keep mentioning 90 days, 100 days. I started this three months ago and it's just starting to work. When you want to build a business and you want to create systems, they will not be effective immediately. I pause for a reason. If you are caught up in what I call tactic driven business, where if you run an ad or you run a sale and you get immediate results and you're looking at building your business that way, you'll forever be chasing your tail. Now, going back to 90 days, 100 days or so, when I started inserting an automatic referral mechanism in my business, I'm starting to see fruit. Now, see, this is the beauty of it. Once you begin it and you make it part of the corporate DNA, then each month the base widens of referrals. Each month, pay what you want widens. So for 90 days, I've just been building and maintaining a certain level of discipline to keep doing this. And I'm talking to you business owners. It's incumbent upon you to put that level of discipline on yourself and to spread it out of your organization. Because if you don't, you'll become a tactic-driven business once again, and you already know how that feels. To grow your business professionally, you're gonna have to start automating and inserting systems, processes, and formats for automatic growth. As long as you're pushing the growth, always doing the tactic, running a sale, or doing something like that, you're always gonna struggle. Now, Let's just say you have an advertising agency and you're a one man shop. When is the last time that you directly asked a client for a referral? When is the last time you asked a client for more business? When's the last time that you followed up on someone who told you no? Do you realize that 90 something percent, like 99 percent of salespeople, once they're told no, do not follow up with that prospect again? I'll tell you a little story. Well, selling office furniture, there was this guy I called 38 times because it became a game to me. I actually didn't want to sell the furniture. I wanted to land the appointment more than I wanted to land the furniture. So I would call him. Then, you know, the first three times it was very friendly. Then it became somewhat contentious. But I knew he had something going on and I knew I could solve it for him. So I kept calling him, kept calling him, kept calling him. Then one morning, I got up. Now, he had told me no. He hung up on me. So 
I was probably at the 10th rejection, maybe the 15th rejection when he warmed up a little bit. It's like, look, look, I got a lot to do. Once this is done, then we can sit down and talk. But I was selling furniture. So once it was done, he would not have any need for me. So that was like a dodge or a push off. Then one morning I got up at six, six o'clock and I called him as soon as I woke up. I had everything laid out and I said, look, I already know what building you're moving into because they had connects back then. This is what your challenges you're going to face. You're dealing with Helena. I knew who his facilities manager of that building was. And I said, she's not going to let you move in during the day like you planned. And he was like, how the hell do you know all this? I was connected. So this is what you're going to have to do. And he blew me off. This was meeting 37. Then phone call 38 was generated by him because he said, hey, I was talking to Helena. It went exactly like you said. The other guy lied to me and we're in the jam. Now, this is extreme, but I put this out there of what it takes to get business. And this was like 2000 when I did this and the prospects and the people who make the decisions, they're smarter, they're more insulated. So you're going to have to be really, really diligent in getting them. Now, this brings up the referrals. That's a hard chase. That's, that's hard prospecting. That's hard salesmanship. If you can get a customer just as good from a referral, why don't you have a system in place to do that? See, this is one of the things. Uh, as I revigorate this channel and re, you know, rebrand the channel, I'm starting to implement sales processes and systems. This is what you have to do to grow your business because if you're going to be tactically driven, you're going to always be chasing whatever tactic, shiny object, Facebook ads, whatever little system funnel. But if you create a referral system and you create more value in your company, you will automatically embed growth in your company. So I set my client down and I said, look, what you need to do is call up, you personally call up everybody that you ever sold these widgets to. And he's like, well, a lot of people don't have, I was like, just call up, do this. Call them up and say, hey, I was just thinking about you and I was looking at the last time we did business and do you have any needs or do you know of anyone that can use my services? You know, if you don't have any needs, you know, we could just chat up for a little bit. And, you know, he did that and he made 180 calls in the first week and he did $70,000 in new business. Just combing through clients that he already did. A lot of people don't do this. This is one of the first things I do when I set a client down. It's like, have you talked to your old customers? First thing I do, if you're on my email list, you're always seeing my offers. I'm always selling, I'm always offering value, I'm always bringing something to you because that's my job. And you gotta look at it like that. Uh, the other day when I did my video where I was putting out $100 bills, I feel that if you take my training, you take my courses, you watch my videos, that you will be better, you'll make more money. So if I don't feel like that, I don't need to be selling it to you. And that's another thing about your company. Uh, many people right now are jumping on certain shiny object bandwagons. I won't say anything, but if you're looking at a tactic just to make some money, you are in harm's way of when the tactic no longer works because this is the thing with tactics. And I see this quite a bit. Someone will create a tactic and it works very well. Then they'll create a course. Then they'll create a mastermind weeks or months after the tactic has been successful. I don't understand that. But many people do that. Now, one of the things you have to understand is when you're putting together your business, you have to start embedding systems, automation, processes, and a referral mechanism, an objection mechanism, and a system to handle a lot of different things. This is something you've got to do if you want to be successful today. A lot of people want to grow their business really, really quickly. But the best way to grow your business is to consistently grow your business. Building a business is like building your body. It's a good example. So you go to the gym, it's uh, January 2012. You start this workout program and you never stop. And each month you improve just a little bit, just a little bit, right? So here it is, 2016. You've been working out for 20, 48 months. You 
lift three times as much as you did back in 2012. You look completely different. That's the way that you grow your business. Growth isn't this overnight super scaling event. Growth is this constant period of elevation, this constant period of expansion. But because it's so slow or it's so gradual, it doesn't really seem like you're growing. But if you put on a pound every month for the next five years, you'll be 60 pounds overweight. And that's pretty significant. Now, invert that context to if your business adds $10,000 new business every month, keeps it and continues to grow. You see where I'm going with that? Like I said, more systems, more money. The first system that you need to put in your business is an automatic referral system. It has to be present in every transaction. It has to be present in every bit of copy because essentially as you build your business, especially from day one, if you automatically insert referrals, which is a system in the process, you could potentially quadruple your business from doing nothing more than having the discipline to continue to run your referral business. I've seen it. Like I said, 100 days ago, I started this. Hey, if you like this channel, and you should, if you like the content of this channel, and you should refer two people, and in the copy it says three, then I ask, if you like the copy, if you like the content, if you like the training, if you like the information, pay what you want. And I've seen more benefits and results of that in the last two weeks than I have in the previous 100 days. But the thing is, you can't get to here without starting back there. And that's one of the things that really, really hampers a lot of business owners because they're so busy to stick with the fundamentals. And to give you a great example of fundamentals, if you remember a few years ago, Butler University, they were beating everybody because, and they didn't have a lot of, they had one almost star, but everybody was fundamentally sound and they played together as a team and they were beating teams that had deeper benches than they did. They were playing teams with more superstars than they had, but because they were fundamentally sound and technicianly, from a technical level, very proficient, they were consistently winning and almost won it all. That is the power of having systems that you implement, that you follow, that you groom, that you tweak, that you have the discipline to stick with in your business. So if you're a business owner and you're struggling and you feel overwhelmed and you're, you're going crazy, number one problem is you don't have any systems in your business. You could be seriously growing and there'll be a period where you'll be feeling overwhelmed, but if you continue to feel that way every day, you don't have enough systems, you don't have enough processes, and you're not delegating correctly because you shouldn't be feeling like that after a certain point. Maybe the first two years, okay. But if you're feeling like that in year 15, then essentially you've created yourself a very high paying job, which is good, but you haven't created yourself a business. Also on a deeper level, by creating systems or standard operating procedures, you make your company easier to sell because let's just say you have company G and there's company X. Company G is run by you. Company G does five million a year. Company X is run by a team. The owner really is rarely there and the company does three million reoccurring revenue. Company X is more attractive to a purchaser than company G. Company G makes more money, but company X makes more money consistently from an automatic standpoint. When I was making a lot of money from passive income, from the sales of my book, I realized that if you can get a hundred grand a month passive income, that is better than consistently. That's better than a million dollars earned income every month. Because if it's passive, there are no mechanisms. There are no systems. Now, by adding referrals to your business process, you create a passive revenue stream inside your earned income stream. I'm going to say that again. By having a referral process in your earned income stream, you create a passive income stream in your earned income stream, which can literally double your yearly revenues or triple 
your yearly revenues without hiring a new employee, without spending any more money on advertising, without doing anything from an infrastructure standpoint. That is how powerful systems and automation and delegation is. So with that, if you like the content of this video, and you should,